All right, here we go. Video key for homework four in uh, fall of 2020. All right, so um, student number, whatever that student number is, four, five, six, seven. Obviously, some of you will put your name on it, whatever. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you um, what I expect for this bad boy. Okay, so we've got uh, this weight. It's uh, 2,000 pounds, and it's suspended by these three cables. Uh, cable D or AD is the one that is only in the X coordinate. So we will, I will, once again, I'm going to do this full fledged as if, you know, I had a sheet of paper and I was doing that work, right? So we've got some kind of line up here. We would write homework four on it. We might even title it equilibrium at a point. At a point. All right, and then there's going to be a little line and then we'd say, okay, what class is this? ENCE uh, 2350 and this is statics. Okay, and then we might do a student ID number or your name for your homework. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then we're gonna give it page numbers. And I'm gonna assume that we're gonna do this on two pages. Let me go ahead and, well, we'll just leave it like that for now. Okay. Um, all right, so the first thing we do, oh, well, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say, well, what's, what's the given? I'll go ahead and pause it while I copy out down the givens. Okay, so this is what's given. Um, along with the fact that the weight is 2,000 pounds. Okay, so that's, you know, not a horrible drawing. That's about as well as I'm going to do for drawing this um, with all the, you know, appropriate dimensions on there, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and what do we want to know? Well, what's required is we want to get, um, oh, the tensions in all these cables. So tension in AB equals what? Tension in AC equals what? And tension in AD equals what? Okay, and we don't need the arrows on top because we only want the magnitudes of those tensions. Okay, so to solve this, the first thing we have to do, and this is a little bit repetitive, um, it's a lot bit repetitive actually, um, but luckily you don't have to do it because I'm going to do it right now, although you should have done it. Okay, because we know that we're going to sum forces in this sucker because we know this thing's at equilibrium. So what we're going to do is anytime you sum forces, you're going to need a free body diagram. Okay, and in this case, we're going to do the free body diagram of the point A. Okay, so um, easiest way to do that is this is just another a redrawing of what I just did, except we're going to take away all the noise and we're only going to do forces. Okay, so here's the point A, and um, I'm just going to um, you know scribble this real quick. So A B is going to go like this, right? Oh, come on, come on, what are you doing? Okay, so that's TAB. TAC is going to go off this way. Okay, so that's TAC. This is TAB. And then we're going to have TAD, which is kind of going maybe this way-ish. Okay, whatever the X direction is. So we'll call that TAD. Okay, and then going straight down is... The weight, right, which we happen to know is 2,000 pounds, okay, or two kips, okay? Now, that's not really going to cut it, though, unfortunately, right? We're going to need to um, to include the, um, you know, these axes, right? And so luckily I've got, a, like, a pencil tool, so I can do that without really disrupting my drawing at all, right? This is the positive Z direction, okay? We've got an X direction, which is kind of going off on an angle here. Okay, so this is an X direction. And then let's see, the Y direction is going, is just going straight left to right. Okay, so here's the Y direction. All right, so the next thing we might wanna know because it's important is we're gonna need to kind of get at, um, well, let's see, so this thing kind of continues on that way. Um, it's continuing towards a point, which we will say is about right here, right? And, you know, I'm going to do this one a little bit more slapdash than the, one, than the drawing I did earlier, which is a little silly because this is the one we're going to be working with. Um, but, we, but, you know, we need these numbers, right? We need to know how far away these things are, right? That's how we're going to, how, how we're going to solve for these things, right? TAD is straightforward, right? TAD is along the x-axis. We don't need any of those numbers. Um, the 2,000 pounds is straightforward. It's going straight down. You know, we don't need any of those numbers. Right, but this TAB and this TAC 
right? They're going someplace, right? And so we need to um, consider where that place is. All right, so here we go. Okay, and then, you know, and of course I tried when I drew the other one to be a little bit more to scale. This one may or may not be, right? I'm just kind of making sure that my numbers are on here so I know what I'm working with, okay? All right, so there you go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now that we have that is we're gonna, we wanna, you know, ultimately what we're gonna do is we're gonna sum all these forces in all the directions, but before we do that, before we can do that, I need to kinda um, start working with, um, let's see, what these forces are, okay? So let's start with TAB, okay? So I'm gonna do forces one after another. Oh, I really need that to be a marker. So it's gonna show up and be visible. Okay, so here we go, TAB, okay, equals. Okay, that's gonna be the unit vector in that direction times the magnitude of the vector. Okay, so the unit vector in that direction, TAB. And here, I'll, I'm gonna start using some red. I'm gonna use a red pencil to kind of show you where I'm getting these numbers. Okay, I'm gonna use them on my, on my diagram here. Okay, so let's see here, TAB. So in the X direction, it looks like I'm gonna go this way like that. Okay, it looks like I'm going to go that way, uh, negative three. Okay, negative three feet. Okay, that's in the I direction. Okay, in the Y direction, let's see, in the Y direction, it looks like we're going this way. All right, and we're going to go that way. Looks like we're going to go negative six in the J. Okay. Um, let me see if I can make this pencil a little bit darker. Okay, let's go for a darker pencil. Okay, and then in the J direction, well, we're going from the bottom all the way up here. So we're going positive 6. So plus 6J. Okay. Now, we need to divide that by the magnitude of that vector. Okay, which is going to be 3 feet squared plus 6 feet squared plus 6 feet squared. Okay, and that's the unit vector, and then we'll multiply that by TAB. Okay, and I'm gonna leave it like that because um, I'll do the rest of the work in, um, not in pencil because the pencil is kind of hard to see. Um, let me see, maybe, maybe I'll switch to pen and see if the next one if that will uh, make this a little bit easier to see. Okay, so then we're gonna go to uh, TAC, that looks easier to read to me, equals lambda hat. Well, this should be lambda AB. This would be lambda AC times TAC. Okay, and let's see here, AC in the X direction, looks like it's going this way. Looks like it's going that way, negative two, negative two feet in the I direction. Okay, and then the J direction, maybe this is the way I should have walked the last one. I should have walked the last one all the way up to here and then turned that way. Anyway, for this one, we're gonna turn right for TAC. And that right turn is in the positive y direction, so we're going to get a plus 3 feet in the j. And then we're going to go up from there. Okay, plus 6 feet in the k. All right, and the uh, magnitude of that vector is going to be 2 feet squared plus 6 feet squared plus 6 feet squared. Okay, and that's going to be times T A uh, C. Okay. Now we're on T A D. T A D is uh, much easier. Okay, I could do all of this for T A D if I wanted to, but it's easier to just note that it's 100% in the positive x direction. So this is going to be equal to 1i times T A D, right? Because it's all in the x direction. Okay. And then the last little bit will be the weight, okay? And the weight is 100% in the z negative z direction. So that will be negative, whoa, whoa, I didn't really leave myself the proper amount of space, did I? Anyway, so it'll be uh, negative k, negative 1k times uh, 2,000 pounds, okay? So now, um, okay, so I'm gonna keep working with the equal sign here. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line these up, each one with an I, J, and a K. Um, the nice thing about uh, you know, these particular um, triplets, the three, six, six, on you know, the square root of three squared, six squared, and six squared, and the square root of two squared. Oh, that should be a three squared over here, shouldn't it? It should be a three squared, excuse me. Anyway, the nice thing about these uh, triplets is that they, um, come on, is that they, um, they work out the nice pretty numbers. Um, so if we do the math on this, on this first one, we'll end up getting negative one-third um, I minus two-thirds J plus two-thirds K. Okay, and that's times TAB. And then for TAC, it'll be negative two-sevenths I plus three-sevenths J plus six sevenths K. TAC. Okay, this one right here, the TAD, of course it's all in the I direction. So technically it looks like this one I plus zero J plus zero K. Now normally we wouldn't bother with all those zeros. Um, I'm just putting them there as placeholders. Um, it'll help me kind of to figure out what's what in a second. So it's going to be 0i plus 0j, similarly, minus 1k, and we'll multiply that times 2,000 pounds, right? Okay, so the reason that I did all that business um, is because, you know, if you look at my, uh, my solution key, um, it is at this point, you know what, let's just all do this on a single sheet of paper. Let's go over here. Let's change that from 1 out of 2. I'm going to pretend this is all one sheet of paper, okay, which it kind of is. Come on. Okay, so... Anyway, so when we get right here, okay, one of the things that I can do if I kind of wanted to kind of plan out where I was moving forward, is I could draw a line under all of this. And note that if I add all of this up, the sum of the forces, okay, is going to equal 0i plus 0j plus 0k. Okay, I know that, right? The sum of the forces equals 0 because this thing's in equilibrium. And I can kind of take a look at that and see which equations are going to give me the easiest time. Okay, so for example, this one right here, the x direction, it's got three unknowns. It's got an unknown here for TAB, an unknown here for TAC, and an unknown here for TAD. Okay, that one's going to be hard to solve. Okay, the y direction um, equation right here, um, it's got two unknowns. So that's actually going to be the easiest one to solve. All right, and then the uh, the z direction. Um, what color should we use there? We don't really have that many color here. We'll do red. The the z direction here, it's got two unknowns, but then it's also got this, which is known, but it's just all, you know it's slightly more complicated than the y direction. So so this one is the easiest one to solve right here. The y and, and by solve I mean we can't really get an answer right. It's two unknowns in a single equation. So we can't solve it. However, it's going to be the easiest one to get into the into like, you know, an easy-ish um, way to work. So um, on my solution key that I posted to Moodle, you'll see that um, I just kind of work them. Uh, you know, I just go in order x, y, and z. Um, but hopefully, this will show you that the y is going to be the easiest. So sometimes, you know, you might have a you know, depending on what the question might ask, that might be very useful uh, to do it that way. Um, I'm going to kind of do it the way I did it on the solution set right here. Um, you know, this is kind of like what you would do if you had no idea what to do. So in the x direction, I'm basically doing this, and I'm going to kind of basically write this equation out right here. Okay, so it's going to be negative one-third of TAB minus two-sevenths TAC plus TAD equals zero. Three equations, I mean, three unknowns, one equation. Can't solve it, right? Also difficult to work with if we wanted to plug into anything else. So let's do some of the forces in the y direction. All right, so I'm going to do this bit right here. Okay, that looks like it's going to be my easiest one. Okay, so let's see here. Negative two-thirds of TAB uh, plus three-sevenths TAC equals zero. Okay, cool. That's a great one. Okay, and then like that one looks, you know, tractable.
Okay, sum of the forces in the z direction equals zero. Okay, and that's this one right here. So I'm going to say two thirds of TAB minus six sevenths. Oh, that's a plus, excuse me. Uh, plus six sevenths TAC minus 2,000 pounds equals zero. Okay, so if this were a test, um, I'd be very happy if you got those equations. If you screw up the solving from that point, uh, there's an algebra error, and we should really need to sit down and work on that. Um, I want to think about what these mean real quick um, before, I, before I move on and solve them. So this one right here is the easiest one to think about, which is the y direction. So here's the y direction right here. Okay, and basically it says the y components of all these things have to add up. Well, only two of them have y components. So basically the y component of this one right here of TAC has to be equal and opposite to the, to the y component of this one. Okay, so that's why this is the easiest equation, because it doesn't really have that much going on. Okay, now if I were looking at, say, this one, the z equation, I've got three things going on there. And what's happening is the upwards component of TAC and the upward component of TAB, they need to balance this 2,000 pounds going downwards. Okay, and that's what this equation says right here. Okay, the last equation is this x equation, which is, of course, the hardest one here. Okay, and it says basically that the x component of TAC, which might be, you know, right here, and the x component of TAB, okay, those are being balanced by the x component of TAD. Okay, and that's how we think about these. That's how we visualize what these equations are. Okay, so now we're going to get back into solving these guys, or girls, you know. Uh, these are, you know, gender, gender neutral. Okay, so this one's, the, you know, the, the y equation is the easiest. So we're going to solve that one first. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, let's see here. 3 sevenths TAC equals negative 2 thirds TAB. Okay, so then I'm going to rearrange this. And I'm going to follow my key. Um, and it basically says that TAB, not negative, that's positive, thank you. TAB equals 9 fourteenths of TAC. Okay, so now what I note is if I knowing that, if I plug it in over here into this equation, right, um, I can solve for one of my unknowns because these two were, had, were two equations with the same two unknowns, okay, which means that these two can be solved without using the x equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. So we've got two-thirds of, let's see, TAB is actually nine-fourteenths of TAC. Right, if I take this TAC and I plug it in right there, okay, plus six sevenths of TAC minus 2,000 pounds equals zero. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna bring that 2,000 over to the other side. Okay, distribute and add all that stuff up. So let's see, that becomes, so this becomes uh, three sevenths TAC plus six sevenths TAC, so that's 9 sevenths TAC. Okay, multiply both sides by 7 over 9, and I get TAC equals 1555.6 pounds. Okay, if we keep five significant figures. Okay, so now I'm going to back, substitute that back into this equation here. I have to get TAB, and I'm going to say TAB equals 9 over 14. But I'm going to plug, instead of TAC, I'm going to plug in 1555.6 pounds. And TAB then equals 1,000 on the nose. Sweet. Okay. So now I've got two of my three unknowns solved for. So I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of those and I'm going to plug them back into this equation right here. So let's see here, I'm going to get uh, negative one third, TAB is 1,000, minus two sevenths, TAC is from over here, 155, uh, 1555.6 pounds, and then plus TAD, plus TAD equals zero, okay? So we would solve this, and this would be negative 3, 3, 3.33 3 pounds minus, oh, sorry, <laughs> I filled that in what, what, silently. Well, hopefully you can follow all that. 
So anyway, so we'll uh, rearrange this and we'll get TAD equals 777.77. Um, 7, right? Booyah. Okay, pounds. Okay. So there you go. And if I go to three significant figures, which is preferred um, in this class, TAB, TAC, TAD. Okay, and let's see here, 1,000. So I'm just going to say 1.00 kips. TAC is 1.56 kips. And TAD is 0 0.778 kips. Okay, so that's three sig figs answer. Okay, so there you go. That's how we solve it. And let's see. It's a beaut. Should have been two pages. Oh well. Alright, so um, hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. Uh, goodbye.